what is up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani welcome back to my channel what is the vibe my beautiful tribe happy day so if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so right now support your girl on this journey that I always say is bigger than me because it is selling let's go so chosen ones and spiritual warriors what is the vibe tribe you know chosen ones there's not a lot of us there's not a lot of us and there's some people who call themselves chosen they may not be but oh well as long as they rock out with that spirit that god has given them absolutely but they are chosen ones and there's only a certain amount of us okay and you know when you know you know when god has told you who you are okay and this is video is for my chosen ones and yes my spiritual warriors you don't have to be chosen to be in the mix because a lot of the chosen ones and the spiritual warriors we are going we were going we have the same spiritual warfare and some of us chosen ones have it more you know we have that we have a lot of people who are against us more than more than the you know another person right and that's okay that is absolutely okay. This is why God, as I said before, is calling all of the chosen ones to support and gather, okay? Gather and support each other. This is our community that people are against. And when they see us in the individual status, they want to go against us more harder, thinking that we are alone, but not understanding that if we stand alone, we still are 10 toes down. We know how to rock out. We absolutely do. But God is calling all of our toes to be standing down around each other to support each other, love each other, uplift each other, and so much more, okay? There are businesses out there that chosen ones are that, that that they are they're building and that they need support of because there's a lot of wicked people that just don't like a chosen one or a spiritual warrior because of the light they hold. They don't want to see you and I shine because of the light that we hold because they know once we obtain the position that God has for us, you guys know. God is calling us chosen ones to stand up and support and rise up continuously each day. You see me on this platform. You see that I'm a chosen one. I see you on that platform. I see that you are a chosen one. We are to we are to hit that subscribe button. We are to hit that like button. We are to support and love each other because we know, we know that there's a lot of people out there against us. We know that, but we know that there is also more power in us than them. Let's go. Let's go with this. Let, let, let me tap into this message. Okay. Let me let let go. God is good. I think this is two parts. So let me do. All right. Let's go. So chosen ones and the oath. The lion has been unleashed. Thank your enemies. Thank your enemies. The lion in you has been released. Thank you. Thank you to all of my enemies out there who has unleashed the lion inside of me, who has picked up the, the diamond inside of me and placed it all around me. Diamonds. Thank you. Thank your enemies for what they have done. They have pushed and released the lion from inside of you. They walk us up. My enemies, you woke me up. Your enemies, they woke you up. What's up? Hey, hello. And I'm going to say that from a distance because I don't need to be in close contact with you to handle what I need to handle. For God, my spirit to handle what needs to be handled. We don't have to be in, be around them in the flesh. They will be dealt with. They will be taken care of once. Ooh, let's go, let's go. The damage is done. The oath to yourself to never entertain dysfunctional human beings ever again in your life. Can, you, can I say that? Yes. I don't want to entertain any dysfunctional human beings ever again in my life. But I will share, I will share my life with them. But close contact, absolutely not. Mommy. What's up, Josh? What? Okay, hold on. No. And these are people that we knew. These are people that we don't know. We are to not entertain dysfunctional human beings who doesn't have uh, an ounce of of, of goodness inside of them. We can't bring things out of people that they don't want to be brought up. We can't. And I tried and you tried, right? Let's go. The oath to never tolerate a demon that pretends to be an angel. Nope, not gonna do it. To accept the red flags and not collect them, but trash them. A lot of us were given red flag at the red flag at the red flag at the red flag, and we chose to collect them. We chose to try to take them and try to write down what the problem was and try to heal it on the other side of it. And God is saying, stop collecting red flags that I have placed in front of you. Trash them. Trash them. We collected the red flags that our enemies gave us. Now God is watching them collect the red flags that he also gave them and they're not trashing them. This is why they're so caught up in misery because they're they're collecting the red flags that, that they gave us. It's easy to collect the red flags when you have a good heart and you love. It's easy. 
it's easy, but God has allowed our enemies to collect those red flags on purpose. He allowed them to collect the red flags and so much more because of what they have done and what they don't have remorse for. Let's go. Chosen ones, we see the fake in the world. I see the fake in the world. I can't fake it. Any I can't fake it. I never was able to fake it, but I really can't fake it. I can't. I can't participate in the sin. I can't participate in, in, the, in the giving my body to whomever, or whoever, what, because I think that the world is going to, I can't participate in what I see, but I'm going to hold down my light. I'm going to hold down God's light. And God is calling us chosen ones to do so, to raise little girls and little boys, to hold down their light and not be um, easily influenced by what, we, what they see in the world. The world is not a part of God. Most, some but the world entirely is not a part of God. They want to live the way they want to live. And they want to put an excuse tag to each and everything that they do. God is calling us chosen ones to not participate or entertain any dysfunctional human beings. Share your light, but share it from afar. We got to stop delaying ourselves and delaying our purpose because that hurts us. That delays us and they go on, on about their business. Let's tap into it some more. People are watching who hate us. The people who are who dislike you and I are watching us. The people who don't have that normal conversation with us are watching us. People are watching us. They're getting motivated by us. And then they want to they wanna throw shade at us low-key behind closed doors. Let's go. But in wait, people are watching. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. But instead, be kind. They try to copycat and alter it to their... God is saying there's a lot of people who are watching you and I, who are trying to mimic our energy, who are trying to be a copycat of our energy and of our light. But God is saying they can try to do that all they want, all they want, all they want. But there's a difference between what looks good on us and what looks good on them. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But as I said before, they cannot fake the funk. Only to people who are who are not awakened, they will believe in the lies that our enemies tell and that the unjust tells. But people like you and I, you can't fake it. This is why we are not around a lot of people as chosen ones and spiritual warriors. Because I can't look at you and watch you be a fool or try to make me look like a fool and then be quiet. And I'm not going to argue with you, but I'm going to speak my truth. And the enemies, our enemies and the unjust, they don't like the truth. They want us to lie to them. They want us to accept the bully. They want us to accept their nasty behavior. And this is something that we refuse. And God says, do not do. Let's tap into it some more. Woo! God is good. Mm. Okay, let's go. Chosen ones, we are at peace. We are pure peace. We are not perfect, but we are peace. I know that I am not perfect, but I can guarantee you that my mind, body, and soul, pure peace. I can guarantee you that anybody that sees my light have the light inside of them. And they, they, they work hard to be in my life, as I work hard to be in their life. We're, we're beautiful, beautiful human beings. And it takes one to know one. And the people that doesn't understand you, they're, they're, not, they're not in peace like you and I. They're not. They're not. Because I know who I am. I know that I'm a good woman. I'm a good wife. I'm a good mother. I'm a good child of God. I'm a good daughter. I'm a good sister. I'm a good, I'm a good everything. I know that's, that's me. And I know that there's a lot of people out there who see that inside of you, who see that inside of me, and they hate on it. Oh, you're not this. You're not that. Oh, but I am. And you better tell them, collective tribe, but you are. Watch God bless you. Watch God bless me. Watch God open doors for me that no man can close as well as for you. Watch me own businesses. Watch me operate businesses. Watch me help the, the hunger, the, the hungry. Watch me feed the homeless. Watch me do what, I, do what I'm told that I'm going to do. Watch me. And while they're watching me and while they're watching you, they're going to try to duplicate who we are. They're going to try to duplicate these things. But God says, I'm going to shut it down. He's going to shut these false factories that are human beings down. And he's going to continue to rise us up. Because people for so long have tried to suppress us, keep us locked down in the closet, locked down in the basement so that, the, so that we won't shine. But I'm telling you, I'm shining. I'm telling you, you're going to shine. You're shining. I'm telling you that no weapons formed against you and I shall ever prosper in the name of Jesus. God has my back. God has your back. And you better represent that all day. Let's tap into it some more. We are pure peace. And many of our enemies and the unjust out here are in chaos. Because they cannot disrupt your peace, my peace, they get angrier and angrier and angrier 
and they hold grudges and they're upset because they detached from a life that they could have been a part of. And they went towards darkness. No matter what you say, no, no matter what you see, stay in gratitude, chosen ones. God is saying, stay in gratitude. No matter what someone tries to throw up against you, no matter what you see on the television or out there in the streets, stay in gratitude. Stay in me, God says. Maintain your vibrations, your thoughts, and cleanse yourself daily. Cleanse your energy daily. Because there's a lot of people out there who are sending us the evil eye. They're talking about us still. They're trying to ruin our character and ruin who we are. But God is saying, I am going to dismantle everything that these people are doing. I'm going to clean out their mouths with soap. I'm going to dismantle their mind, body, soul, and spirit. For you, for me, God is going to handle our enemies for us. We better believe it. The unjust in their ways are filth. And yes, I said it, they're filth. We know what filth is. They're filthy. But they want to pretend themselves. They want to pretend to be clean. They're filthy. They carry around spiritual diseases, absolutely spiritual diseases. These are diseases that Satan has uh, attached to them, not God. These are these are these are sexual diseases that they have been um, attached to through sin, through demons, through giving their bodies like it's nothing. These people, our enemies are filthy and they want to portray themselves to be clean. Well, they want to make us seem like we're dirty. Absolutely not. They know what it is. Let's happen to it some more. The unjust in their ways are filth. The souls of them are dirty. The greed, the lust, and so much more. It's time. It's time to just remain peaceful on earth, God says. Remain peaceful, tribe. Remain at peace. Remain in peace. Don't stumble upon the rocks that these people try to throw at us. Don't do it. No more stumbling. Connect and be in peace and happiness. Connect with people who are true, who are pure and not false. Disconnect from the false and stay surrounded by faith. Your enemies may want to put up a fight. God says, put your flesh down because the spirit is already working. We are not to be upset. We're not to be angry. We're not to do anything when it comes to the flesh to overexert ourselves. We are to simply let our spirit and God, our angels, do their thing. The spirit, your spirit is already winning. No matter what they do, don't get mad. Be in gratitude. You woke up the lion in me. What's up? Hey, how you doing? I got to go. I'm going to let the spirit deal with you. I'm going to let God deal with you. I got to go. Don't have time for it. You know what I'm saying? No need to hold grudges. Your spirit is already kicking A-S, you know what. And they're mad because your, your flesh didn't have to lift a finger. Our enemies are mad because our flesh, they put in a lot of toil and labor to try to take us down. But our flesh is, is sitting pretty. Your flesh is sitting handsome. You're good. Your spirit has done the work. Your spirit is doing the work while you don't have to lift a finger, God says. You don't have to retaliate and seek physical revenge or anything of that nature. You don't have to. Because you need to stay pure in that heart and stay happy. Because God has so many good things in store for you and I. And participating in the wicked deeds of, the, of our enemies is going to delay us. And this is what they want to do. And this is what they have done in the past. Delay us. But it's time for us to continue on prospering. Prospering. In all that we do. Always, always remember that your spirit recognizes anything that your flesh does not. Okay? This is why our intuition is big. Our intuition is huge. If your gut is telling you something is off, trust me when I say it's off. I love you guys so much. That is it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and light. Bye.